everyone so what I want to do today is show you all how you could create these cool banners I have uh, these banners for my attendance that I give my students and you can upload it onto your Google Forms. So I've been using Google Forms a lot lately and I am going to show you how you create one and how you upload that. Um, so here is something basic, right? When you create a Google Form, um, you title it, you add description, you add whatever it is, questions you, are you want. Uh, you can move it around and so forth. So what I want to do is I could choose an image from my preset ones that I have here. So if I don't want to, I don't have to create anything new. I'll insert it and that's it. I'm done. Um, but for this, what I'm going to make it is more personal to me. So. I am going to start by going to my Google Drive. I go here and I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to create a new slide. So I'm going to start by grabbing everything, starting with a fresh canvas, Xing that out, titling this so I don't forget what it is, header slash banner or forms. and setting the page. So page setup on file. Go down to custom. Uh, we want to work with pixels and the size you want is 800 by 200. So if you watch one of my previous videos I showed you how you could create these scene backgrounds um, for your Google Classroom. You could actually do the same thing if you want for your uh, Google Forms. So for Today, what I'm going to do is keep it really simple. So here's my banner, uh, my canvas. I'm going to click on background and I am going to just change the color. So I'm going to pick a color that I want, any color you like, right? So let me pick this blue. The reason I pick background is because I'm not able to move this. It's set there and I'm ready to start like painting. Uh, arranging everything. So what I like doing is inputting a shape. So I'm going to input this rounded rectangle. Okay, so once you input it, you could move it so it's centered. Um, you could fill in the color, this paint bucket here. So change the inside of your uh, shape. Let me do something bright. Uh, maybe like sticking with that blue. Get a little more brighter like that. Um, what I do also like doing is making the border of the shape thicker. So I'm going to go to these three lines here and make it thicker. Maybe four. If you want border dashes, you could play around with that. Right, if you like any of those. I'm going to pick just solid. And you could change the color as well. So if you want, you could change it so it stands out more. Let's do orange. Okay, now that I have that set, the next thing I am going to input is a text box. So I'm going to input my text box. And since the quiz I'm working with is a quadratics quiz, I'm just going to say algebra one quadratics quadratic unit okay something simple I'm gonna highlight that and change the font so let me pick a font that I like uh, let's just go call comic I am going to make it bigger and let me center it align center Okay, so let's bring it somewhere here in the corner. Um, what else can I do? I could also bold it. Maybe I want it bold so it's just a little more, stands out more. I could change the color as well. So maybe that, nope, nothing like this. Maybe I wanted a blue color. Okay, so there goes my, I'm slowly building and making my, 
uh, header. The one thing I'm in love with right now is this Bitmoji, guys. If you don't have one, I do suggest you guys get one. Uh, in order for you to get one, I have the extension on my Google Chrome. You will need to download the app on your phone, create your avatar, and um, once you have that created, then you can add the extension on here and it's going to get linked, right? So here are some of my, some things I could put in here. Um, what I am going to do since it's a quiz, I want something simple. Maybe I want, um, you can do it. You can do it. Knock and dead. You can. Good luck. Good luck. Sounds good. For those of you who do have a Bitmoji, um, I also sometimes just write my name if I want it in there. So I could add just my name and things come out, right? So if I copy, do it again, new images come out. So if you want your actual name in there, you could, you could do that. Um, let's see. So let me, I'll use those two. One with my name and one just like that. Okay. So you move it wherever you like. Put it in. This looks fine to me. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually uh, download this as a JPEG. So it's download JPEG. It's going to download at the bottom of your screen. And now you could go back to your Google form and change your header. So how do you do that again? You're going to click on the customize theme, choose image, and this time you're going to upload it because now it's your header. So upload it by dragging what you just downloaded. Since the sizing is perfect, you don't have to resize anything. All you do is press done and it's gonna put it up here. It changes the original color based on the colors that you picked. So once that happens, sometimes I actually just play around with the colors until I find the color that I might like. So I may like this one. And that's pretty much it. So once you have your header, right? So if I have my header and I'm doing a new uh, lesson or a new uh, form, I just copy Command V, Command V to copy paste the exact same thing. And maybe next time I just change a uh, title. So maybe stats unit. Um, if I want, I could change my images and so forth. So uh, now here by pressing this plus and going down to where it says blank. Okay, and starting fresh again. So you don't have to create a whole bunch of uh, slides. You could just have them all there so hopefully this helps and hopefully you guys start creating and making your uh google forms just a little more fun than what you may be used to so here's my attendance ones have fun keep learning and come back to visit soon